that goes in here, a panel and welded in, and black and red interior. Yeah, I believe the carpet he said was. Yep, it'll be a, it'll be essentially a full size chassis jig. It'll be a. Yo, 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 what's up? This is John from JG Innovation Garage in the Peach Capital of the State, baby. All right, boys and girls, let's give you a little update on some part one, part two, whatever. So here is the uh, little mini truck bed. Klein, uh, he tried to do that. So he had filler all the way out to here on both sides. So we're going to fix that. Do the same thing on the right there. We're going to fix that. And then we're going to build him some tubs. We're going to do this. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to blow it off really, really, really good. Let me get our thing, see me. I'm going to blow it off really, really good. And then I'm going to metal treat it with DX. And then I'm going to epox it with CRE 321 or with 921. And I'm going to get that done and that'll be in the dry. And then we're good for that. Now let's walk up here in the main shop. Well, let's look at this right here. All right, here's the, the Mustang doors the deck lid and you see the hood over here we got flaked out we're going to do some graphics on this this is going to be raffled off uh, for customer appreciation stuff like that concrete guys are coming just as soon as it warms up they said in a couple weeks and all this will be concrete all that'll be concrete all that'll be concrete so we're going to walk up here and check out elijah oh yeah we got the wheels and tires put on the f-150 and now he got the wrong trim rings. The trim rings was wrong. So the ones that he ordered right here are wrong. So he's gonna have to get some new ones, put that on there. And we got the gunny wheels off. Here's the gunny wheels. Some things are a lifesaver. We got some 40, 45 S's coming. We got a couple sets of those coming. So we can take these wheels off his GTO. But now I'm gonna go in here in the big shop. And Elijah's gonna let you know what we got going on this uh, 70 GTO with like 26, 27 factory red tag, pink tag options from New York. So, all right, Elijah, let's hear it, boss. Well, we're gonna start tearing this thing apart. We're gonna first, we're gonna pull off the fenders, the hood, the front nose piece, so that we can get to this. So we can get to this wiper cowl. We're gonna be replacing this cowl down inside there and there's a bucket underneath there that also goes with it. Then we're also going to be replacing this balance piece here, this cowl here, for because instead of repairing it on both ends, we're just gonna cut the whole thing out and repair or replace that. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll, once that gets all welded in and put together, we're going to put the front end back on it and we'll get all the gaps correct on it so that then we can blow it apart and do our body work and fill in all this stuff because as these get older they they're all there's always something going on the nice thing about this one is is we don't have to do too much with the top since it's going to be a vinyl top we'll weld in a new plate here instead of obviously they took all the lead out this thing's been acid dipped and then epoxy so now we'll sand this out and then we'll put we'll build a filler plate that goes in here a panel and weld it in and grind it all smooth so it's nice and solid there. Other than that, it's just gonna be body work, reassembly, and putting it all back together. There's, there's quite a few things that need to be repaired and replaced. Like these are the old patch panels that we'll be taking back out and doing them correctly. Instead of overlapping them, we'll butt weld them together like they should be. All right, what about the nose, Elijah? What we got going on the nose? The nose, these are, these are, notorious for cracking like this so we're actually going to have to take this off and then they make a uh, repair epoxy essentially that you, you v these out a little bit fill them and then get it all ready again because he wants to keep the original one and not replace that so we'll be just doing a bunch of work to that in order to get it back to where it needs to be all right elijah what what color is this bad boy it is black on black on black and I believe it has black and red interior. Yep, I believe the carpet he said was red. Yep, and the lower parts of the doors are red and then the rest of it's black, so, yeah. All right, so what else you got going on over there in the back two corners? What you got going on yeah, over we got, there? We got the mini truck that we're getting, be pretty soon here we'll be getting some paint on that so that we can be moving that around. And then we got the 68 C10 that is sitting over here that we're doing all the gaps on. We 
shave the drip rails off of that, and then we'll be getting that put onto a chassis so that we can mount up the fenders, the radiator support, the hood, and get all the gaps even on the front of the doors to the fenders to the hood. That's right, because uh, SS Chassis Works is kind of building us like a, a dummy jig chassis, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll be a it'll be essentially a full size chassis jig. It'll be a frame with nothing on it but casters and stuff, so we can assemble the entire front end of the truck and put the box on if we choose to, and then have it all so where we can put all the gaps correct, and then we'll be able to take it off of that, jam everything, and then paint it on there as well. All right. Well, I appreciate you. All right. Well, everybody tell Elijah Bob we're going to go out here and see what we got going on out here outside. And we're going to wrap this up right quick. All right. So we got Mike over here. He's down here. We're going to take a little stroll down here and check out what he's got going on. Mike's here from Carolina Dusters Blaster. Like I said, he's already blasted the box and he's got some Mustang parts. We got to finish up. He's got a blast that we missed out on that the first time. We just overlooked it. Now he's down here doing R2, the Camaro, and I'm telling you, a lot of people give a lot of people a lot of flack, but I'm telling you, Mike's the best of the best. So we're gonna stroll down here a little bit and see what he's got going on. So it looks like Mike's going pretty good. Moving along pretty good on that. He'll be here. Good Lord, give us a big eye in the sky. So it's nice. It's a crisp day, but it's nice. So, you got something going on, you need us to work on it. I hope you stuck with us this far. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a follow. Make sure you go to Facebook. Make sure you follow us What's on there. And if you got anything, we can handle it. Motorcycles, cars, trucks, and uh all your square bodies and all your c10 needs all your classic cars ain't nothing too small we can't handle ain't nothing too big we can't handle remember what i said don't worry about the man up the road don't worry about the man down the road sweep off your own front porch worry about sweeping off anybody else's put god first let loose in drag peace out and chicory some out